You know, we live in an entertainment landscape right now where there is tons of disputes, lots of conflict going on. We got the writers on strike. We got the actors on strike. And it looks like all the problems isn't just relegated to the unions because now Disney and its channels, ESPN, ABC, FX, and others, were all of a sudden pulled from the second largest cable company in the United States, Spectrum Charter. And now they're gone. And that is the topic of today's Mint Mobile hotline question of the day. Listen, if you guys got a topic or a question you'd like to hear your voice on our show, go ahead and call it in anytime, 24-7 at 951-268-4259. We pick one or two to cover every day. And again, today is about these Disney channels just disappearing off of their networks. Check it out. Hey, John Crew, this is Michael calling from Santa Clarita, California. You know, I was just on my Spectrum programming, and I noticed that Disney has pulled their programming from the Spectrum network. This is freaking ridiculous, considering that they have all the problems with the strikes and everything. Do you think this will get settled soon? What do you think? Thanks for everything. Bye. All right, Michael, thanks a lot for calling that in. And yeah, listen, I am not a cable subscriber. I haven't been a cable subscriber for probably about 10 years now, but there are still a lot. Spectrum Cable, if, I, if I'm remembering, give or take one or two, I think Spectrum Cable has like 14, 15, 16 million subscribers across the United States. That's a big pool of people, though I believe they are the second largest, you know, pay cable provider out there. And they're on track to become the biggest. And this is interesting because according to this report in The Hollywood Reporter, that it was right in the middle. And you can bring that up there. Right in the middle of the U.S. Open going on and a major college football game. So college football's back. It's huge. I get, you know what? College football's not that big in Canada at all. Don't know why. We love football in Canada, but college football's not a big deal in Canada at all. But here, it's massive. And it was right in the middle of a big U.S. Open match in a college football game that, boom, all of a sudden, it went dark. ESPN, uh, Disney, as the main company there, is having a basic carrier, carrier dispute with the uh, charter spectrum and it's again over over terms about you know the costs the fees uh you know disney wants to negotiate the best plan for them when it comes to bundling packages and all that kind of stuff spectrum charter is resistant to that of course they want the best deal for them at the same time and so out of nowhere boom at least out of nowhere for us the channels disappeared uh, this comes to us from that Hollywood Reporter report. They said this. Uh, this is coming from Disney's representation. We've been in ongoing negotiations with Charter Communications for some time and have not yet agreed to a new market-based deal, Disney said in a statement Thursday acknowledging the blackout. Disney Entertainment has successful deals in place with pay TV providers of all types and sizes across the country. And the rates and terms we are seeking in this renewal are driven by the marketplace. We are committed to reaching a mutually agreed upon resolution with Charter, and we urge them to work with us to minimize the disruption to their customers. Now, of course, that's their perspective. Disney is saying, look, we've got good, fair deals with all carriers across the country, and the market dictates what prices should be and all that kind of stuff, and we want to make sure that we are getting a deal that is reflective of the market. Now, obviously, Charter Spectrum has a little bit of a different perspective. Like, they believe, look, we can't just have prices going up. We want to get rid of the bundling, all that kind of stuff. So you got two different sides wanting two different things. But if this sounds like a little bit of deja vu, you're not crazy. Because it was just recently that Disney had two other removals from carriers right this is also from that same hollywood reporter report that said disney has found itself in a handful of carriage disputes over the past two years last october disney channels including espn abc went dark on the satellite tv dish service dish network and its sling tv streaming offering in a similar dispute but the channels were offline for just a couple of days before the companies reached a deal and in late 2021, I remember this because I'm a YouTube TV subscriber, and in late of 2021, Disney channels went dark on YouTube TV, but also returned after a deal was reached in a couple of days. So, you know, Michael brings up a point about, listen, doesn't Disney have other things to worry about right now? Like with the writer strike, things with like an actor strike. True, but that's being dealt with by a different set of people at Disney. Disney's a big company, lots of divisions, lots of people who look after different areas, all that kind of stuff. This is a very separate issue. And they got to get 
the best deal for them. And if they don't believe they're getting the best deal, they're going to say, okay, then we strike, you know, mm -hmm. writers go on strike. Actors go, we're going on strike. Our networks are going on strike from your cable provider. Then at the same time, charter and spectrum, they want the best deal for them. They want to have a deal that to them makes sense. But look, I actually don't think if history teaches the same thing, I don't think this is going to last very long. Like I said, Disney's had two such, you know, interrupts in the last two years, both with dish and with YouTube TV. And those were both settled within a couple of days. So I anticipate probably within about a week. Now, again, to me, doesn't matter much. I'm not a cable subscriber. Haven't been for a long time. Never will be again for the rest of my life. And it's a changing landscape. And that's another dynamic in this. Disney has set off a lot of signals in the air that they recognize that the cable TV model is antiquated. Right? They recognize that the days of having to be on a cable carrier, and there's still a lot of people on there, and there's still a lot of money there, yes. But everybody pretty much acknowledges that that is a system that is going away. That's a model that's disappearing and will more rapidly dis disappear as the years go on. And they're probably looking at Disney is probably looking at their future way past the cable model, which has probably put them in a good position to say, look, if we're going to be on cable right now, and there's a lot of money for them there, we're going to get the best deal possible for us. And whereas Spectrum and Charter are like, listen, we may not have a lot longer in this business, mm -hmm. so we want to make sure we get the best deal for us while we can. But again, we've seen these disputes happen in the last couple of years. They always seem to get resolved in a couple of days. I expect probably within a week this will get resolved. And if not, then it becomes another issue. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone. But now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia question is for you guys what do you think about this are you a cable subscriber do you maybe even a charter subscriber did you find that your sports are suddenly interrupted or some other program you were watching do you need this to get resolved quick does this maybe push you to become a cable cutter uh, realizing that these channels can just disappear at any time? Maybe not. Whatever you guys think about this, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.